want to show our support to all our girls. What is up, fam? We are back for game two against OL Rain. They're coming off a tie. We're coming off a tie. Someone's got to win. Who are you going to bet on? I know who I'm going for. Hey, look who it is! Hey, what is? What up? Yo, how are you? It's game day. It's game day. Cool. Okay, all I got to say is hashtag bad be boss. He may be walking out, but even better news, Joy Foss is here! Hi, fam. <laughs> I am a coach with the U.S. Women's Deaf Soccer Team. Um, Amy and I came in to coach, I think like seven years ago, before their last World Cup, and it kind of reminded me when I was on the national team back in 87 when I made it, and there just wasn't a lot of support. The girls fund it. So when they go to the Olympics in a month, they each have to raise like $6,000. Staff's all volunteer and um, it's come a long way. It's been great to see the girls grow and fight for themselves and find their voices. Um, that's what I love about this team. And they're spreading the word on hard of hearing and deaf culture and community. Now introducing U.S. Deaf Women's National Team and signing the U.S. National Anthem will be player Olivia Mackey, joined by their coaches Joy Fawcett and Amy Griffin. of the Deaf Women's National Team. And I'm Sydney Andrews, and I'm also one of the captains of the U.S. Deaf Women's National Team. I didn't know I pulled both captains. Yeah. All right. I could just feel the presence. You lose your one of your midfielders. What are you telling the team right now to get them up? Yeah, I mean, it starts now. It's a new half. 0-0. Um, zero, zero. Let's go out there and uh, make sure we defend hard and get after it. I mean, really, just got to get after it. All right, so now how can we watch you? You have an event coming up. Tell us when it is, what it is, and how, where we can watch it, how we can follow along. So we are going to Brazil for the Deaf Olympics uh, in May. Uh, it's May 1st to May 15th, and um, we are hoping it'll be streamed, but you can follow the whole thing on our social media channels. So we have Twitter, um, Instagram, Facebook, U.S. Deaf Women's National Team, or U.S. Deaf Soccer, but we'll be giving you updates from there, too. Good luck for it. Right, we'll be follow. cheering you on. Thank you.
when we face off against Portland Thorns FC. But you look up to these veterans on the team and to see how they respond in a moment of like extreme adversity. What were you inspired by with how you saw your teammates respond? Um, you know, they raised, raised the bar, especially Tyler. You know, that, that goal just says a lot, especially with a man down. Jasmine and Allie Riley, like all those girls, they, they don't stop, they don't quit. And, um, it's good to have people on the field, especially older than you, that, that have that standard because no matter what, you kind of you have to meet that. So. All right, fam, that's game two in the books. Not the, uh, not the result that we wanted, but we are going to face adversity on this journey, and I think we should all be so freaking stoked and proud on how our team responds to those moments. Getting a goal, three down, and a player down on the field, I mean, that's fight and that's heart. So we've got two away games, so tune in, follow those games, and bring the stoke, bring the energy, and we'll see you here very soon. Peace.